Hi, it's Stuart Sutton at One Acre Plus Homes. Yes, we do specialize in homes on an acre or more, like those in Woodland Park. So we're going to take a look at Woodland Park home sales in 2019 compared to 2018. You can see from this first slide that we did see a decrease in the number of homes sold. Now, that's not a big factor. Nearly 10% seems like a big deal, but there are only about 20 home sales in the Woodland Park in the last few years. So a decrease of 10% was pretty minor. The average sale price did fall about 4%. Now, before you get concerned, again, this is a small pool of data. So a shift in the type of houses that sold could have an effect on this. The average price is still over 550000 very strong in Woodland Park. And here's why I think you saw the average sale price decrease. We saw more homes sell under 500000 in 2019 than we did in 2018. Eight versus two, that's a pretty big difference. Now, all that really means is some of the smaller homes in Woodland Park sold in 2019 more than did in 2018. And that does affect the average price with this small pool of data. Now, when you have smaller square footages, the price per square foot tends to increase. And we saw more of those home sales in Woodland Park, more of the and when I say smaller homes, we're not talking about small homes because Woodland Park is a luxury home community. We did see many of the homes under 500,000 sell in 2019, which means they're a little bit smaller, which means the price per square foot went up. However, the fact that the price per square foot did go up and it's positive shows that Woodland Park is still moving in the right direction. I hope that makes sense. The days on market. We did see faster home sales in 2019 compared to 2018, and that was actually considerable, a 41% decrease, only 65 days on the market. Now, you might think, well, that doesn't sound that great. What about all these other neighborhoods that sell in you know, a few weeks? Well, the one acre plus market is different. 65 days is very good for a community with homes on an acre or more. List to sell ratio is the difference between the asking price and the sell price. That fell very slightly. It was very, very slight, though, really hardly even worth mentioning. We are seeing some corrections in the market. We are seeing we are seeing the market not move as briskly forward as it has been in the past. But the stats in Woodland Park are still strong, even though some of the statistics themselves are negative. I hope that makes sense as well. Call, text, or email if I can help in any way. You can see all homes for sale in Woodland Park at any time at cwoodlandparkhomes.com. And we also have additional statistics regarding Woodland Park. You might want to go see how Woodland Park did over the last five years or something like that. If we can help in any way, let me know. Again, we do specialize in homes on an acre or more. There are some nuances and details that most typical agents aren't aware of with homes on an acre or more. So let us know if we can help and thanks so much for your time. Bye-bye.